it's Shannon. So I wanted to come at you with a real quick review on the tiniest stick in the world. No, um, the Richeson Street Sticks. So as you can tell, I've been busy and I've used quite a bit of this one up. I really, really am trying to get out of the shade, the shadows. I don't know. So I only have a limited selection of colors, but what I can tell you is I've used quite a bit of a few of them. I also use the yellow, but I've used a lot of the blue and the, um, I have a couple of greens as well, and the greens. So what these are is artist grade quality chalk pastels that are big, and they are made to write on rough surfaces. If I remember, I will insert pictures of me doing chalk art, which is why you only see tiny nubbins of the yellow one. I think I only have a picture of the terribly crappy Pac-Man I did, but I will insert it if I remember. Anyways, I really, really like how these work, and considering I was doing it on an extremely rough, um, uneven pavement, I have to say these impressed the heck out of me. And for the money, I don't think you can beat it. And like I got it all in my hand. But I like these because they're non-toxic. You're looking at artist grade quality pigment. It's a chalk. Um, did I say non-toxic? I'm sure I did. But it's really that important to me because I like to do a lot of chalk pastel. And unfortunately, the majority of my pastels are not non-toxic. And <sighs> You know what I mean? So you have to make sure you're in well ventilated area. Of course, I did this outside, but I've done this stuff in in house as well. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little demonstration. Um, I'm on the road again here pretty quick, but I like it's so smooth, um, and the blendability of this is just phenomenal. I really, really love like how easy it is to just blend and shear that out. It's very beautiful and I do think it is quite wonderful. You know, you can get a little layering going on and I know this is kind of a rough on the cut kind of deal, but I really love pastels for that squishy like finger involved kind of thing. And again, I know that's not everyone's favorite thing and their forte when they do do art but for me personally I really like to um, I like that messiness and I have to say these have layered well when I've used them I used them for probably a couple hours yesterday and did a few different things down the road it was Halloween the other day obviously this isn't going up on Halloween um, honestly I hope this goes up before Christmas <laughs> so I just I really wanted to do a quick short video and tell you I really like these. I think these are great um, if you're a sidewalk artist or if you do, even if you do murals on the side of buildings, this is supposed to be able to be used on bricks and stuff. But the nice thing is, is that it is chalk so it can wash off and it is easily, you know, removed. So that's really nice, especially if you're doing, you know, sidewalk chalk as an advertisement or something like that or if you're just, you know, expressing yourself however. I really, really, really love these. And the pigment load on this yellow one is super, super crazy. Oh, I have to actually get it to where I can write in it. Um, I'm going to pick another one up. Like, oh, I'm not sure you'll be able to see that. You can see the outline of the camera though, see? Um, but it, this, this yellow is so, so amazing, so amazing. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna give you a little quick swatch of all of them, but I'm so impressed with these. I mean, for the price, and you can get them at Blick for $3.96, I think, or $4. Um, I know when I go into an art store, I'm paying about five bucks a piece. And I don't mind that, considering a good chalk pastel costs you way more than that. And this, I would consider a very good chalk pastel. I think, honestly, I love these. I am definitely, like I said, I'm going to an art store tomorrow. Um, after I get through, you know, well, I'm traveling, and so I'll get through with work. And then, you know, I was like, I just, y'all, I can't help it. Like, I get going, and I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Um, I love this. I love, I love how these layer. Um, I think they mix well. I... I really like these and I think you're looking at artist grade you know pigment 
you're looking at professional quality and I think for the money I think Richeson hit it on this is like Richeson to me this is the first time Richeson's really hit it out of the ballpark with something and I love it I mean I do love my Yarka White Knights but that's a distributor thing um that's not a as far as I know Richeson came out with this and developed this and this is theirs this is just I can't express it enough and I'm probably not doing a good job but like I said the big things to me are light fast because it is light fast so if you do want to make it permanent and you want to seal it you can or if you use it on you know pastel paper you're okay but if you want to use it on sidewalks and things like that it will stay for a good while I can attest to that at this point but the nice thing is is you can take some water and spray it and scrub it off and it'll go you know what I mean it's non-toxic it's not gonna hurt anybody so it's really good it's one of those things that I just I you know cuz I do love working in like I said chalk pastel but I was like you gotta worry about huffing some of that cadmium in sometimes so making sure you have like good enough ventilation um, so I just and you can see how dusty it is <laughs> but I really like this and I just, I wanted to come on here and do a really quick review for y'all and just let you know, honestly, really love this. I've used this quite a bit, clearly, as you can tell. They've all been used quite a bit, especially the yellow one. And I'm so impressed. So, Richardson, good job. And I obviously, I wasn't paid to do any of this. I picked all these up. And I picked these up at a couple of different places. I picked them up at Wet Paint in St. Paul and then Art Materials in Fargo and I both places have amazing staff so if you get the chance check it out but I will say these are amazing if you're looking for a really thick like if you need I don't know like I'm that person I want to be very involved in my art to some extent I don't know like I, I'm I want art to look like you want to touch it but I really like to also be involved in, in smear and smudge and I just I like that the the very like visceral physical the physical aspect of like smearing and smudging like I like doing that which is part part of the reason I really enjoy using acrylic mediums too but so I, I totally dig this I was gonna say two thumbs up so anyway so that is my review of the Richeson um, street sticks I really really like these y'all I just I cannot express enough how impressed I am with these considering the price point um, the quality is amazing. Pigment load is so awesome. They have a good variety of colors. Um, I don't think they have like 300 colors, but I think they have like 45 or 50, which is a very good, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good amount. And I'm impressed, like I said. And for the price point, you can't beat it. So anyways, so that is all for this review. Um, if you have any art products you want me to review or things I've hauled in the past you want to see reviews of, let me know in the comments section below. And... Do me a huge favor, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.